Welcome to a course on calculus. In this lecture, we are going to talk about discontinuity of a function. Okay, what do we mean by a discontinuity? The point at which the function fails to be discontinuous is called as a point of discontinuity. Okay, when do we call a function as continuous at a point? That is so simple. Here, you may see that limit x approaches c f of x is not equal to f of c. In this case, this is for removable discontinuity. When you have equal sign here, that is when your limit x approaches c f of x is same as that of your f of c, then we say that the function is continuous at that point. Okay. If the function fails to be continuous at that point in the sense, we say the function has a discontinuity at that point. The discontinuities can be classified under the five categories. We will explore one by one. Okay. Here, that expression is not satisfied. Right? which means these two values may be different and that is when we have the removable discontinuity. This value may not exist even. If the value does not exist, that leads to four different kinds of discontinuity. Okay, here in removable discontinuity, the limit must exist and must not be equal to f of c. Okay, here an example for which is given that is f of x is defined in the form of sine x minus 7 upon x minus 7 and this 0 when x is 7 and this value sine x minus 7 upon x minus 7 this is true when x not equal 7. Let us try and plot this function and see what happens. Okay, uh, I am using a uh, GeoGebra tool to plot this. Since this is a piecewise function I will have to specify a uh, the range first and then the value x minus 7 upon x minus 7 okay and uh, what if this thing sorry I think I have made some mistake over here uh, if this is this condition is satisfied this is the value and again if x bigger than 7 then I am going to have the uh, same ok there also I have specified x bigger than 7 so this must be x smaller than 7 we must have this and when these two conditions are not there that is when x is 7 we must have 0 so this is the function right so here we cannot directly type x equals 7 so I have uh, type written x bigger than 7 and x smaller than 7 and here you may see what the function behaves smoothly when x is 7 right let us try and zoom in even now the function is well good okay we do not know what exactly the point 7 is because here you may zoom in as much as possible but still you cannot reach what exactly 7 is. The, the function behaves this way when your x smaller than 7 as well as when your x bigger than 7 which means only at the point 7 it is not behaving like that. Okay, Here you may see that there is no break in this graph. Actually we have a very 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 minute break at x is 7 but that is not visible since this is very close kind of a thing right so removable discontinuity is a type of discontinuity where the limit is not same as that of the function value at a several points that may be on several points as well at those points you can redefine the function to make it continuous okay now let us see the second type of the discontinuity that is discontinuity of first kind or jump discontinuity here the example uh, the left limit and the right limit are different okay here they have given seal function and flow function for as an example for jump discontinuity let us see how it works okay uh, let me delete it and uh, define my f of x to be my seal function of x and my uh, g of x to be the uh, floor function of uh, x okay and let me zoom out so that uh, you can see the things clearly okay here you may see there are uh, what 
green lines and gray lines uh, gray lines represents the uh, seal function and green lines represents the flow function uh, let me measure from this scale okay here you may be able to see how it behaves okay take the interval 2 to 3 okay in the interval 2 to 3 what happens with the seal function okay when x is 2 your function value is you don't know whether it is 2 or 3 it is showing 3 it is as well as showing 2 okay the seal function gives you 2 when your x is 2 but immediately after the next point of 2 it becomes 3 and it stays 3 till it reaches 3 and when it goes slight above 3 it goes to 4 okay now there is a jump okay and uh, kind of a jump that is taking place at all integer points now let us see what is happening with this g of x even there in the interval 2 to 3 when it is 2 it is 2 okay for it stays in 2 till it reaches 3 and as soon as it reached 3 it goes to 4 right even here there is a jump taking place okay now uh, let us go and see the uh, other type of uh, discontinuities oscillating discontinuity or discontinuity of second kind what is it happening here neither left limit nor right limit exist okay the example given here is sin 1 upon x when x is non zero and is zero when x is zero let us try to plot it okay f of x is defined in the form of when x is a negative quantity it is defined as 1 upon x right and when x is a positive quantity then also it is 1 upon x and 0 when it is 0 ok here you may very well see that something is happening in this area right what is it happening let us zoom and see oh something happening kind of an oscillation let us try uh, ok let me have my x coordinate as minus uh, let me have from minus 0 0.0 0 1 2 simply 0 0.01 okay here you may very well see that the oscillation is going rapidly and it is oscillating between minus 1 and 1 we don't know what it is happening here full of oscillations which means when your x approaches 0 from left or from right you do not know what is the actual value of the function hence we say that both the left limit as well as the right limit do not exist okay these kind of discontinuity is called as oscillating discontinuity next is mixed discontinuity right uh, it is a combination of both jump and oscillating discontinuity let us go and see what happens with this okay uh, here uh, let us open a new tab uh, okay yeah of course it is taking a while uh, okay it came my f of x is to be defined in the form of uh, when my x is positive it is sine 1 upon x and for rest of the case it is 0 ok here you may very well see that the function is behaving smoothly in the negative side and there is an oscillation in the positive side for a certain while ok when you look at the point 0 it attains 0 therefore the left limit exists whereas the right limit do not ex does not exist hence we say that this function admits a mixed discontinuity at the point 0 and the last type of discontinuity is infinite discontinuity it means 
when your x approaches c the right limit may become infinity or minus infinity and the left limit becomes the other okay how is it let us try and plot this thing okay so here my function is i am simply plotting this part and see what happens with this okay see when your x value approaches 1 from the left it is growing in the negative direction anonymously right and when x approaches from the right so it is growing in the positive direction anonymously okay even though you redefine the function value at the point 1 the limit is not going to be equal to the point hence in this case we say that the function admits infinite discontinuity right thank you for watching